Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to increase the quality of a video in CapCut. So if you want to increase the quality of a video on CapCut, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video today. So first things first, you're going to want to go to CapCut. So this is a clip from Iron Man in Endgame. So let's say I want to increase the quality of this clip. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this video today. So first choose on the clip and then scroll until you find adjust. And once you find adjust, just click on it and this page will show up right here. Here in this page, you're going to scroll all the way to the right until you find the option that says graphs. So as you can see, I found it right here. And on here, on all four of these options, you're going to bring the left circle all the way to the top and the right circle all the way to the bottom. You want to do this for all four colors. So the white color, the red color, the green color, and the blue color. So just do that real quick. You just grab the corners and drag them to the opposite sides like I'm doing right here. So as you can see, the screen will be, or the video will become a really weird color, but you're just gonna have to do this. It might glitch out a bit like it is right here, but you're just gonna want to drag the, them to the opposite corners like normal. So once you finish doing that, let me just drag this one down here, and there we go. Now once you do that, you're gonna want to go out of it, and as you can see, the video is like all weird and like glowy. Once you have this uh, done, you're gonna want to uh, scroll until you find effects and once you get to effects click on video effects once you get to video effects you're gonna want to look for the option that says blur so you're gonna go to lenses and then scroll down until you find the option that just says blur <laughs> find blur just click on it and it will bring you out right here as you can see it blurs the video you're gonna want to bring that to the entire length of the actual video so as you can see the entire video is completely blurred and once you do that what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to increase the quality of the video all the way to the top, so make it whatever your max quality is, and then save that video. So this is just the first part of the thing, we still have another step to go. So once you do that, and once it's exported all the way, you're going to want to go back into the clip or the video, and once you go back into the video, you're going to want to add the video that you just exported as a uh, overlay. So find the overlay option and then add the video that you just exported. So once you find the video that you just exported, just add that to the uh, edit. And once you do that, it's going to bring it out onto the edit and let it load for a bit real quick. And then as you can see, it has just been put into the edit. So you're going to want to make it the same size as a normal screen. And then you also have to revert the original clip back to normal. So you're just wanna, gonna want to get rid of the blur and then click on the original clip and then scroll until you find adjust. So let me do that real quick. And once you find adjust, just click on adjust and that'll bring up this page here. Here, click on graphs again and then click on reset in the top left corner. Once you click on reset, that'll reset all the graphs and it should the original clip should be normal. Now make sure that the overlay is perfectly on top then look for the option that says blend. So click on the overlay, then find the blend option. And once you find it, you're going to want to scroll until you find the burn option. Once you find the burn option, you're going to want to bring it down to around 20%, 20 to 30%. So I'll just choose 25%. You can just choose that too. You can experiment with it to see which one looks better. But 25 seems to be the one of the best uh, options. And once you do that, you want to go back and then... You're going to want to add another overlay, and once you go to overlay, go to stock photos and add the completely white stock photo. Now, once you add the completely white stock photo, it should be at the top of the screen on the stock photos. You're going to want to fill the screen with it. So just make it as big as you can and just completely fill the screen, and then make it as long as the original video. So as you can see, the entire video is just white now. So what you're going to want to do after you do that, you want to click on the white photo and then find the blend option. Now here, you're going to look for the overlay option and once you find the overlay option bring the white photo down to about 85 and once you do that it should clear it up and the video should look a lot brighter now and once you do that there's one last uh, last couple steps so you have to go back and then look for the adjust option again and once you find the adjust option you're going to want to look for brightness it should be one of the first options and on this one you're going to want to bring it to six not negative six i actually did that but for it's going to be six on brightness and then 20 on saturation so once you bring it to 20 on saturation and then bring it to six on the brightness it should be about done 
So as you can see... <laughs> of the uh, edit or tutorial so that is how you increase the quality of a video on CapCut so once you do that you can just save the video and it will look a lot better than what it originally did so I hope this video was helpful if it was I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe leave any questions you have in the comment section below I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you guys next time